Okay, so what we did, we found this uh, roof brace from an old Chevy van and welded it up under here for some support, but it looks like we kind of sagged it a bit, so I gotta push this up and maybe weld from here to here to hold this in position, somewhere like that. And then uh, I also marked the line where the uh, floorboard has to end because the headboard's gonna be there. So I think we've got to cut it, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch or so to allow for the thickness of the headboard. And uh, then we got to put the sides on, and that's, the, that's what's going to make a truck out of it is when we get those sides welded in. And uh, I don't know if we're going to have time to put some uh, sheet metal between here and the uh, pickup bed. We'll see. But it fits pretty good back here, but... Of course, we got to fix the holes, but this is another problem is uh, the wiring is all down underneath here. And once we weld this in, there's no way to get to the wiring. So we're thinking of, uh, let's see, where's the middle? This would be the middle here, I guess. Making a cut right like that, and then across that way and have the two sides flip up to put the spare tire in the trunk and have access to the uh, wiring in case we ever need it. So, still waiting for Richard to show up. Kids probably don't want to get out of bed this morning. Oh, it's Sunday, that's right too. They gotta to go to church on Sunday. They're holier than me. Out here in the woods, we have some bedsides. It's a 1940 Ford pickup. Uh, we've gotta remove that. And these fenders gotta go. And uh, I don't know what some wooden bracing back here, but I don't think, you know, there's nothing holding the back of it together. I was thinking of cutting it right off and uh, just carrying out one side at a time, but geez, we already got a headboard attached. Maybe if we get rid of that other headboard, we can save a lot of time just by sliding this up into the back of the thing and then uh, trimming the edges, the bottom edges where it's all rusty. We can cut all that away because we don't need it to be that tall. At least I don't think so. Let's see how far down does the rust go. Say they're there. Uh, 16, 17 inches. How about from that edge right there? We got 15 inches plus, well, we've got uh, 17 from there to there. Go do some measurements on the Buick, I guess. Oh, the length is uh, uh, 79 inches. You may want to cut some off the back. Because the back's kind of rusty anyway, but it does have stake pockets, which I kind of like. So then we can put some wooden uh, bedsides on there. Well, that's only 14 inches there. Uh, so we can cut plenty of rust off the bottom. And uh, 79 inches from the back. Let's see how that works out. Uh, we're gonna have to shorten it by, uh, well, 67. So uh, 14, no, 12 inches. We gotta cut a foot off the back of that pickup box. We're gonna use it. So I got my brace in here. Gotta do some welding now.
my tip is a little too hot. Oh, I'm burning myself up in the process. I think I've got to crawl inside and do this from the inside. So uh, I'm going to shut off the camera for a moment and uh, get inside the car. Okay, so here I am sitting inside the car. I thought I could sit on my organ grinder's uh, pad, but I guess I've got to sit right on the floor to get anything done. There's the patch, and uh, I got a new coat hanger, so I wouldn't have to quit in the middle of the job to go looking for welding rod. And, uh, see if I can get a proper flame. this undercoat. This is making it more difficult. It's too hot. I'm wearing gloves for this. Yeah, now I think I'm cutting somewhere. I'm melting some steel anyhow. <laughs> I'm melting a hole. Oh well. I'll get, I'll get some of it welded. It doesn't have to be 100% weld. Uh, yeah, that one, yeah, that's a good weld. inside my sneaker. I can't see too good under here. I'm too tall. Gotta punch over. Come on, let's see if I can't get the rod in the right place. satisfied that this side is going to hold. Whoops, went right through. I forgot this foam insulation inside that cross member. The roof brace. Probably what's burning now. Oh, made a mess. Burned a hole through it. Well, I guess I'll just have to make the best what's left. So I'm not to mess up anymore. Put a little more down in here.
this side, then I gotta make one for the other side. And, uh, so, <coughs> that seems pretty solid now. I think it's even gonna strengthen this. Well, not completely, I guess. But, uh, there's still some braces they put in here when they cut the roof off, and I think we wanna take those out, and I think I think when we're done with the headboard welded to it, everything's gonna be solid enough so we don't need these braces. And now I gotta make a brace for the other side. it just a little bit too long and it looks like it wasn't really a little bit too long <laughs> that's okay we'll raise this up a little bit this side of the bed's probably down we'll bring this up enough so we can weld it across there but I still haven't put my brace on this side yet <sighs> so the thing is uh, the uh, the bed sides now have to be whatever this is mm. So, we gotta measure that once. Now this is our line here, we gotta cut it. Most of the rusty part's gonna go in the scrap. Uh, so we turned around, hang this off the edge so we don't cut through the sawhorses. Or just slide it off this edge and cut it from here. Oh, we'll slide it off the edge, yeah. Well, I can cut a good portion of it. I'm gonna move it. Yeah. Well, we're getting there. We got a pickup bed in the back. We got an open front. We're gonna have to shorten up the sides a little bit so it ends up here with this. We got our tailgate hinges, our hangers. We got to shorten up the chain, uh, make a tailgate, and weld everything together. It's coming along pretty good. We're, we're pleased as punch. As Hubert Humphrey used to say that. <laughs> we're pleased as punch. I don't know how pleased punch was, but he was punching Judy. I mean, he was pleased because he's beaten up on a puppet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Punch and Judy was a puppet show that they used, the guy used to beat the hell out of punch. He used to beat the hell out of Judy and all the kids would laugh and laugh and laugh because I guess it reminded me of them reminded them of home <laughs> uh, so yeah I haven't seen any Punch and Judy shows lately so we got us a nice truck going here we just got some gaps to fill and some floorboards to fix yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> we gotta put something in there. Out of the way, I noticed they were getting there. Yeah, we, yeah, getting we just throw some carpet over them. Nobody will notice. <laughs> we'll get to we that later. Black carpet at the house, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we get all this stuff welded in, I think we can take these braces out and then make it easier to lay a carpet down. Yeah. And probably maybe even build a wall from here down that, I don't know, maybe can open up or something. Yeah, or just, or just a carpet wall. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so you can just lift the carpet it and slide and shit behind it. Hide stuff in there. Yeah, yeah well, you contraband your beer and your drugs yeah. and yeah. and smuggle people into drive-in movies. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's too bad they wanted so much for that other freaking bench seat. That, was, that would have been perfect. Yeah. So I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. 500 bucks, no. Yeah, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's too much. <laughs> well, well, I got those nice, comfortable buckets in there, and maybe we can find something else to take the place of them later. 
Yeah, we gotta make a piece to go in there, but yeah. But if we get the basics all done, I think you could take it to the show and show the progress as it's gone so far. Yeah. I still think people would be impressed with it in the half finished condition because they don't get to see this stuff very often anyway. Why they make body filler. Yeah, so. Make us look better than we actually are. Yeah, so it's our cut lines. We got one over here. So we're gonna shorten her up a bit. It would be funny if William show, showed up, saw this bed, and thought yeah. he on his cushion. <laughs> yeah. Well, I offered to cut on my floorboards out of that uh, old van out yeah. there. There was just enough there left of the floorboards. We could have cut a nice square piece to fit the back of his uh, Cushman. <laughs> but he wants to make a custom wooden floor with yeah. highly varnished and shellacked and stained and all that. And yeah. <laughs> I think uh, at the rate he's going, he'll be lucky to weld in a hunk of steel. <laughs> yeah, he kind of lost interest in that and he built himself a uh, racing lawn mower. <laughs> he souped up a riding mower. Yeah. But then he sold that so he doesn't have it anymore. I was. Yeah. I was going to get some pictures of it last time I was down there, and Bill said he already sold it. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess uh, Roger's son knows it. They, they, they've been going to school together. Well, the is almost dry. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Just in the corners, it's not. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So that's going to go on there. Just like so. Yeah. <laughs> and that way we'll be able to put some wooden bedsides on there to hold all the cargo. <laughs> yeah. It is such a low bed too, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still a bed. Yeah, well you know them old Chevys from the like 47 and stuff, they had a pretty shallow bed. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I don't think we're going to be hauling anything except maybe kids in a parade. Mm. No. Very true. Yeah. But I can't see hooking seat belts down every few inches so that we can strap kids into it. No, a parade, you don't have to have seat belts. Yeah. Even Emma didn't have a seat belt on in the last parade. She, she loved that idea. Yeah. <laughs> have a seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> well. 
Got that one all cleaned up and sandblasted. I gotta sandblast that one when I get a little more ambitious. And uh, it's been a long Saturday. No Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yeah, a long Sunday. And uh, tomorrow's cruise night over in, o in uh, North Conway. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going. I gotta wash the car if Ann's gonna be using it. It's all dirty. I got a big scrape on the side from being in the parking lot. Somebody was scraped along the side of my new car with oh, it while I was parked. It. Uh, you could report it to the insurance. Nah, I don't think so. I think it'll clean up. Uh, it doesn't look deep. It looks like it was just maybe a rubber bumper or something. It didn't. Uh, it didn't gouge anything. It just left a white streak on the <coughs> side. Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got to wash that off and vacuum it out. And I've got a bunch of junk in the back from the swap meet that I threw in there. And, <laughs> I don't know if she wants to haul that stuff around. I got a 60 pound bag of uh, Black Beauty in there. Oh, I, those bags are heavy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, they used, I used to get 50 pound bags, but this time they had 60 pound bags. So uh, okay. I got one of them. I, I couldn't carry it out to the sandblaster. I, uh, I cut it open right in the back of the car and I hung it out the door and cut the end off and let it pour into a bucket and took, <laughs> took half of it and put it in the sandblaster and then went back and got the other half. Uh, so I don't know, I got to get that other bag out of there. But I don't know if she's going to be using the back for much of anything. She just needs transportation. I just tried to start the Volkswagen and it turned over like the battery was still charged which was a surprise because every time I tried before the battery was dead yeah. so apparently we fixed whatever the electrical problem was uh -huh. um, and uh, I didn't try to start it I just tried the key to turn it over the starter I probably should get in and step on the gas a couple times to see if it's actually gonna run because mm -hmm. I gotta put the battery back in the Magnum so I can uh, drive that while Ann's got my Subaru. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if, you, if you're desperate enough, you can always unhook the trailer and use the towel. Yeah. <laughs> it's all there.